We're here with Coach Anita Drain Rogers, head women's basketball coach at Gramercy University. Uh, coach, after last year's uh, semifinal finish and a five-point loss to tournament champ uh, Prairie View, uh, what has the staff done differently to focus on the championship this season? Well, you know, uh, that was a, a huge loss for us. We were very disappointed. Um, we felt really confident going in the first round game against Alcorn. Um, they beat us twice that year, and uh, it's very hard to, to beat good teams three times, so the girls are very confident. So we had a lot of momentum riding on that. Secret Anderson had played extremely well the first round. In the second round, we were very disappointed. I feel like if, uh, you know, over the summer, that last two minutes of that, that game kind of haunted us. Um, but the biggest thing, I think, to prepare differently for this year was on our recruiting classes. Uh, we're a lot bigger on the perimeter this year. Um, some great athleticism. We have some young kids that are going to play early, going to play early, and going to play a lot. Um, and so I say recruiting bigger on the perimeter, and uh, we've got uh, another solid uh, point guard to help out with uh, Rachel Dobbins. Rachel Dobbins is uh, battling with a little her knee still, uh, but hopefully it's fixed and she'll be better than ever. Finish out the season strong. Um, and, you know, also we've done a great job, I think, of watching even more film with the young kids, um, trying to catch them up to speed with the returners. Coach, can you tell us about how you feel the progress of the program is going as you're going into your fourth season? You know, I'm, I'm extremely happy with the type of support that we've uh, garnered over the last four years. Our Hats for Hoops program is... Uh, I think it's been a tremendous success and tremendous help with us people uh, pitching in uh, this year. We had a lot of little things that we needed from the program that people have donated early. Uh, we've had the women's basketball reunion. I had great numbers last year, a little down this year, but we're going to keep doing those things and reaching out to the community and hope, hopefully continue to garner support. And now I think we have um, a group of girls on the floor that are going to amaze people. I think that they're uh, these girls by themselves are going to get those stands full. They play with um, such intensity, such heart, such passion. And I think that that's what um, most of the fans really appreciate about the women's game. When the girls go out there, they play hard, get on the floor, they're intense. Um, they're, they're really going to get their money's worth this uh, year. Tell us more about your newcomers. All right. Well, um, like I said, we had, I'm very proud of last year's recruiting class. We have three McDonald All-American nominees. Savannah Carter was one of those. She was our highest ranked, uh, as far as ESPN polls go, uh, player uh, coming from Tulsa Memorial. Just an outstanding point guard, an outstanding personality. It gets along well with everybody and just um, a joy to watch. And uh, she has some skills that far exceed her little 18 years old on the court. Uh, fans are going to absolutely love her. Uh, Sierra Caesar, another Madonna All American nominee from Topeka, Kansas. Um, just uh, another great player. Unbelievable athleticism. I, I think next to Bianca, one of our best leapers on the team. Uh, we have. Uh, uh, Dayla Three, McDonald All American from uh, Millwood in Oklahoma City. Uh, again, um, Savannah's, I guess, our shorty of all the recruits. She's like 5'7. Sierra and Dayla are around 5'11, so we're much bigger on the perimeter. And these young ladies, they're young, making a few mistakes right now, but you're going to see uh, a lot of them uh, this season. Uh, we have Maya Howe, who is uh, like a six foot uh, forward for us from San Francisco. And we have Bria Vinson, who is a 6'2 uh, uh, post player from uh, Fayetteville, Georgia. And um, her team is coming off of a state championship last year. Uh, she's in a unique situation where they had five of their players uh, that received uh, college scholarships last year. Um, she had, had some limited playing time, playing behind a post player that actually signed with Connecticut. So uh, Bria, I think, is going to come along well. Um, learning curve is kind of high for some of the freshmen, but um, I think really by SWAC that um, she'll be right. She'll be um, making a huge impact for us in the paint. Coach Graham's name has been showing up on the ESPN Top 100. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. So you've been trying to get me to smile. Now that really <laughs> makes me smile, okay? Um, I am so excited. That's probably, um, I think, one of the most exciting things that – regarding our program that I've heard since I've been coaching. Um, you know, I, my, my hat's off to Coach Green and Coach Powell. Um, you know, I'm a head coach, 
but you're only as good as those people that are supporting you. And uh, Coach Green has done a tremendous job as our recruiting coordinator, as this year's recruiting class is going to show on the floor, and as next year's other people have taken note of and recognized his recruiting abilities. And I'm even more proud if people knew what our recruiting budget was, what we were able to do, and our strategy on trying to target kids that we really think we have our foot in the door on them, and um, doing a great job when we come here. You know, I have to give my hats off. Dr. Pogue, I tease him every time. Uh, he always meets the recruits when they come on campus and, you know, I always tease him that he needs to, you know, get after it and do, and do his job. Here we got another one we need to sign. But, um, you know, I am so proud of that number nine ranking. Uh, you know, it's up there. When you're in the pool with Pepperdine, Gonzaga, TCU, I, we know we're doing something right. With that today. being said, Coach, going into your, uh, your, your fourth season as head coach, uh, SWAC championship, down the road? You know, it's really hard because, you know, coaches, we have all these little superstitions or maybe feel like jinxing yourself. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and I'm going to say I really think we're going to be in the hunt of things, and I think that we have a great shot of chasing that gold ball and bringing it home this year. Who do you think is the team to beat in this way? Team to beat? Um, well, we still haven't beat Mississippi Valley on the road. I'm looking forward to that happening this year. Also A&M. Um, I, but I think – Prairie View, I have to say, was probably has the biggest target on their back right now. Uh, she does a great job with her players. They have tradition. Uh, they've been in that tournament a lot in the last four or five years. And it, whenever you start having that tradition and, and that expectation, that goes a long way. So we're trying to bring that into uh, our program this year. Um, I also need to, um, to mention, too, uh, we have a lot of um, help, I think, that's going to be coming from one special particular young lady, Lakeisha Patterson that is an Arizona State transfer. She's in grad school right now. She's going to be able to finish out her last year of eligibility with us. And the only way I can describe it is, you know, when people talk about prototypes and positions and you talk about a linebacker mentality, she's probably a linebacker mentality in a, in a, in a, in a guard. She's going to play the guard forward position for us. And I can't wait to um, see your reaction to this kid when she plays and you see her. And uh, I just kind of had to give a little special note on her. Um, she played um, huge, you know, some of our recruiting tape that we had on her was watching her against Tennessee. And I mean, she's played in some huge, huge games. And boy, she brings a level of confidence and um, a, a tempo to our program that um, it's going to be amazing. How did she come to be a Grambler? Well, actually, uh, Coach Green is, again, fishing in the right pools and um, actually tried to recruit her out of junior college whenever um, uh, she was a sophomore. She went to Arizona State, but she never forgot the experience and never forgot the conversations that she had with him, and um, she, she gave us a shot, finished out this last year. It's a great question. Okay, Coach, uh, recruiting, film work, uh, practice, it all comes to a head uh, this Friday. Open up against Paul Quinn. What can we expect to see? Well, um, we working. I think you're going to be surprised at the, um, I guess, the tempo of our offense. More fast breaking from probably what people that uh, are used to seeing us play. Higher tempo. Uh, still going to have great defense. Be very, very aggressive. Um, you know. It's going to be a lot of new, uh, not a lot of new faces on that floor. Uh, we've got seven new people, and like I said, the, the, a lot of these freshmen are going to be getting a lot of playing time. We're going to throw them in the fire, and we, we think we've recruited uh, great kids that are able to withstand that type of pressure and um, be able to come in and perform early. So uh, look for a lot of defense, high tempo, and um, a, a, a W.